Welcome back to another video. Another Saturday video. Dad's working on the disc spine. Adrian's working on the, the bush hog. And I'm going to work on Nipper again. I'm Nolan. And this is Nipper. Let's get to it. I'm seeing a few metallics in there yet, but it's nothing like it was before. Uh, well, before the first, for the first uh, run. Bring this all in the cutter bar. I did build a pulley adjuster, tighten the bottom pretty tight, so hopefully I don't have to put a spring on. But if I do, I have to figure that out yet. Things could be like a 92, 93 inch belt to get from there to there. So, yeah, that don't line up. Anyway, then I'm not sure if this has to go this way or this way. We'll just stack washers in the back there, depending which way we have to go, or take washers out. You check the soil, grease it, get it ready to go. I think Adrian has the bush hog done. Dad's working on, Dad's on his way together with the disc bind. This engine's ready to go except for a pulley, which that's supposed to come Monday. And then I need to get a belt for it. The belt tensioner's on. Um, I need to grease it, check all the fluids in it. Oh no, my gas tank is open. Hmm. <clears throat> Have to go through that, make sure, and find my gas tank lid, wherever that is. I need to move this valve a little bit away from the seat because it's hitting the seat mount. It's just annoying to use. So just go. I think it's just four bolts to loosen. Slide it away. Should be simple enough. Should be. Got my seat on. Just need to grease it. And I want to check all the fluids. And I think I'm going to end up draining my gas. Putting fresh gas in. Which, it's old gas. So it probably doesn't hurt it. To have some fresh gas in it. I should probably also tighten my seat. Which isn't hard to do. I just have to go get my sockets and wrenches. Socket and wrench. So, let's go do that now. I guess. I also added a gusset right in here. It's a little heavy on this side, so we need to do that. It's original dipstick. F O M O C O. Ford Motor Company. If I had to guess what it stands for, anyway. Check. Okay, that's checked. That's good. I need to check my hydraulic oil, coolant. Then it's ready to be moved. Moved out of the way, so that's awesome. Pull it yet, a belt, grease it, and it's done for this season. And then maybe this winter we can figure something out. I might also have to figure out how to hold this back onto the belt. We'll see. Adrian's gonna take that down to the Criswell farm, then we go and load go unhook him. Once he's down there. So we'll come back here and hop on the dirt bike. 
take it down, unhook them, and then we can come back and continue working on Nipper. That was pretty nice. It didn't sharpen them evenly. I don't think it was sharpened evenly. Well, the bush hog's out of the shop, so that's good. Getting that, getting everything nice and cleaned up in here. Well, it's not cleaned up right now. We need to clean everything up good. And then, I think Adrian wants to bring the four-wheeler in here. Not sure what all. We'll see. We got a belt. The weed topper. Nipper. So I'm gonna mound it properly and go out in the field and test it. It's too muddy to actually run it, but can test it. You know, run 10 feet till something breaks. You know, something like that. Got the belt on. It's pretty loose, but here's my adjustment. Move this back and forth. So why don't we just try it before we do anything else? Just to see if it actually works, like I'm hoping it does. Got it running. Working. So far so good. It's always the unexpected stuff that gets you, like a dead battery that I wasn't ready for, wasn't expecting, and now I can't get it to start. Oh well, we'll keep trying. Went and grabbed some gas, now hopefully it works. Put that back there. Round, I don't know how many ever, whatever number this is, I don't know. That on, let it pump for a couple seconds. I'm sure the gas gets there. Pull the choke. Try it again. Well, it started nice, so let's go try it before the sun goes down. And it actually works better than I anticipated for the first pass. There's a few things I might change up a little bit, like readjust that spring, which 
I've been fighting, I've fought with already. I'm gonna adjust it some more. Do a little bit of, yeah, do a little bit more adjustments. Hopefully that'll help. And then I also put a valve in trying to set it up so I can steady the head without moving up and down because it has a spool valve and it always lets a little bit of oil through. And that's not working right, so I have to figure that out and do some testing with that. So that'll be okay, I think. I hope I don't have to buy another one, which, uh, but the fitting and everything is like, I don't know, 10 bucks, something like that, so it wasn't too bad. But if I don't have to buy it, that'd be awesome. Um, what else? Yeah, that's pretty much it that I can think of. Oh, I want to put cones on it for next year. And we change a little bit of this, change a little bit of that, and see what we come up with. But I think this is going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.